nombre de Dionisio Gustavo, el capitán. Crecí en un barrio muy peligroso. Muchas pandillas. Many gangs came to steal and fight. My brother used to make me fight with his friends' little brothers. If I gave up, I'd get punished. So I always won. Later, I joined the Dominican military, the Marines. I became a captain. One time, some thieves stole my motorcycle. There was a big shootout. I got shot in the leg. I thought maybe it was the end, but I got lucky. See, Dominicans never give up. My mother always told me, life is not easy, but you have to be the best. Her courage made me what I am now. I was born to fight karate combat. I grew up in Louisiana. My parents split early on and I lived with just my dad. My dad was a black belt. He taught his own system. Kiyokai Doug. Learned by Master Church from Okinawa. My dad mixed in American kickboxing, MMA, boxing, full contact. It was really his own thing. A warrior takes things as they happen. I watched from my opponent's mistakes and make him pay for them. Way through their storm and not let it affect my mindset. It's like, can I get hit by the world and still be who I came to be? I was training with an old school Russian guy and he said, when you strike your opponent, you heal him. You reveal a hole with him. And then they get to go back and fix that hole. In Romans, it says, take great joy in the struggle, for the struggle produces endurance, and endurance produces character. We love the grind, we love getting punched in the face. We say it, repeat it, and repeat it, and then we believe it, and one day it's real. Here we go, welterweights, three three-minute rounds are scheduled for, boss. Yeah, Clay Hagan believes his opponent is a warrior and will always come forward, but that he worked on that, he's going to push the fight. Now, Gustavo wants to use a lot of combinations in this fight, and he said he worked hard on his boxing skills, since Quay Hagan has great hands. They have a common opponent, Abdella Ibrahim. We just saw him win. Quay Hagan lost to him. Yep. Gustavo won by majority decision Ooh. over Ibrahim. Yep. Quay Hagan says he thinks that'll play in his favor that maybe Gustavo will be a little overconfident. Well, I hope that is. Gustavo did a nice job right now. Nice work here by Quay Hagan to use the wall. But I saw Gustavo already in exchange landing a nice right hand there. But Quay Hagan is one of those guys who ties his hands and feet together. Gustavo has a five-inch reach advantage. Nice job by Gustavo going to the body as well. Look at that. And we're seeing a oh, nice straight right two thrown in there. And he has Quay Hagen backing up early. Gustavo landing some good, good punches here. Oh! Oh, and a nice straight right. Nice Quay job. Hagen trying to shake that off. Yeah. And, and he that does. That was a movie learned in mixed martial arts to drop him back on his back. That back. was it. Quay Hagen with Oh, a, connected again now. 14 fights. I think he has more than that. It says 14 year MMA fights coming in here. Yep. Oh, that was good. Dionicio El Capitan. He's a captain. He used to be a captain in the army. That's why he has that nickname. Quay Hagen's a preacher. Well, he is a preacher. He's a preacher. <laughs> Hence the nickname. 
Steam is out of Gustavo, it looks like. And now Koye Egrid is putting him in the corner. When he punches like that, he shouldn't close the distance. Stay out at the outside. Wehagen talked about pressing the pace and trying to take away that reach advantage Gustavo has. Yeah, but Gustavo right away came forward and he connected with a big punch, you know, and that's, again, we go game plan, whoop, out the window now. <laughs> Gustavo getting a boost off the wall there, yep. taking advantage with a good punch. And it was almost like Wehagen was expecting him to do it again and he landed yeah. that strike. Jump by Quay Hagen, let it go for the guillotine. Quay Hagen has him down here. Can he do some work? No, nah, not this time. It's time to stand right back up. Quay Hagen moving in on him. Final seconds of round one. Okay, Hagen. No, right kick when he right comes down with the right. Yeah. Beautiful time, right hand. Beautiful. Wow, moving out, coming back. Save the best for last to Joshua Quay Hagen. You see the man from Lake Charles, Louisiana, going to his corner. Louisiana. There's Denisio Gustavo from Dominican Republic, two and one in karate combat. Let's take another look at some action from round one, boss. That was that nice right hand at the end. Beautiful. From Josh Quay Hagen. Just before the bell went. And here. Ding. Yeah, that was very nice. And coming up, a history to be made here tonight. Yes. In karate combat, this is the first gold belt to be given away, Rocha. And Scrivers fighting for the lightweight championship. One man will take home the belt. Here we go, round two. Quay Hagen in the black. And Gustavo, entertaining first round. Yes, for sure. Oh, and a good right again by Quay Hagen as Gustavo's coming in. Again, this is about continuous action, no clinching. I if love worn this. too many times, they'll take points away. But you know what, these guys by themselves almost don't do it. Yeah. In other fights, we saw guys hanging, 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 and girls, but they they work so constantly, they disconnect themselves. Oh, nice kick by Quay I love that, yeah. It's a powerful Gustavo kick. Gustavo had to balance himself off the wall to get back in it, and then he comes back with a right. Quay Hagen seems way more in control right now. Quay Hagen keeps moving forward. You see, he's confident right now. Oh, he's footwork. confident, yeah, because the whole end of the, the round before, that was him. Nice right. See, those are the combos. Overhand right by Gestapo. I love that, grabbing the legs and pulling him down, and they go from ground to pound. So right back up. And right back at it. Quay Hagen continues to move forward, trying to walk Gustavo down basically here in the pit. <coughs> Gustavo, big swing and a miss up. Here we go. Gonna wrap up those combos with a kick. Almost looked like he went for a red leg. Did, did it? Yeah. Yeah, Quay Hagen looks like the fresher fighter right now. I think that uh, Gustavo threw out a lot of energy in the beginning of round number one. Gustavo's reaching, yeah. Yep. He's feeling it. You saw he started to slow down. Quay Hagen again, tags yep. him a couple of times with the right. Yeah, and even that right kick from Gustavo didn't go anywhere. He just lifted his leg on, but ooh. <laughs> 
But you know what? The Star Wars has a heart of a champion, so he will keep swinging and will keep coming forward. He is worn out right now. That's a body shot. He likes to get to that corner, maybe gulp some air and see what he can do in the third round. Final seconds. Good round for Quay Hagen. Seconds. Yep, and he's got his blueprint now, coming forward. Oh, I love that. Use it as a springboard. Dionisio Gustafo can't wait to get back to that corner. He was just hanging on, just tired. You, you saw it in round number one, you know, suddenly he went after the whole big explosion, suddenly he threw a right hand, it was super slow, and he goes, did he do that on purpose? And yeah. I said, well, it looks like the steam is out of it. And from that moment on, Quay right. started taking over. So stamina, 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 I say this to every fighter, my fighters, every fighter, there is no such thing as having enough stamina. You can always get more. Yeah, but it's hard. People don't want to get tired, yeah. you know? I tried to find a way to love getting tired, and I found it. And then it actually, I wanted that feeling all the time. And that's what you should do, because if you don't like it, you don't want to do it, trust me. Oh, the body language shows Gustavo is just really worn out. Hands on the hips. Now, he might be playing possum on us, we'll see. Yeah. As we go the third and final round. Quay Hagen in control of the fight, he's in the dark. And Gustavo. Yeah, the reflexes are a little up now. Just, just a beat of half slow, isn't it? Yeah, but although that was a nice right hand that he landed there. So he's not out of the fight. That I do know from the no. El Capitan. Oh, nice liver shot there. Landed on the solar plexus, I think, because he turned. Gustavo still has some punches left. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's fighting pure on heart now which shows you're a good fighter. Never out of the fight. And for Quay Hagen, a veteran, I'm sure he knows you don't want to let a guy stop him get back in it in any way. That's why he's attacking everything now. He's going for the body a lot. That was a straight to the body before the threw a liver shot. He's already in the body, body head hat, see? He's coming. He knows the more hits he hits the body, the more tired his opponent gets. And if he hits him at the moment he's breathing in, fight's over. You can trade 5,000 sit-ups, I tell people all the time. If you breathe out in and you get hit, you're down. Nice right hook there. Body shot again. Quay Hagen is all over the place now. Quay Hagen is not wasting anything here. No. He's not giving to... Gestapo a chance. He just has to watch out that he doesn't get hit with a lucky shot. He's got it in the bag. But again, wounded animal. It's dangerous. <laughs> and Gustavo still has a shot. There's always that moment that you can land something. With this power, we know Gustavo has a puncher's chance here. He's won once by TKO. And look here, trying to get a few shots in himself right there on Quay Hagen. Nothing of effectiveness there. Nope. Quay Hagen keeps coming forward. Well, there's a cool few shots there from Gustavo still. Oh, nice kick to the body. But Quay Higgins just comes forward. Quay Hagen with a good right. Oh. Oh. And a left by Gustavo. See? That's what a guy with a big heart can do. Still coming back. He is fighting on heart only right now. How's Gustavo even standing up? Yeah. He has been tired since the last round, but will not go down. And Quay Hagen himself showing a little fatigue here. Oh yeah, because he's, he, he went to work. <laughs> he doesn't have the punch to finish it. He's so tired. <laughs> and look at him. They're gonna swing with whatever they've got left yeah. all the way to the bell. Oh, man. Quay Hagen Gustavo. Love this. <coughs> yes, I love this fight. The fight before was a great fight as well. A lot of respect. Yep.
How will they score this one, boss? Well, I I, be, I have to say it has to go to Quay Hagen. Quay Hagen, you would think. Yeah, the first round, I thought was Gustavo, although at the end, Quay Hagen started taking over, but he got hit a few times. He was right. on balance on his feet, yeah. so he didn't do damage. Gustavo did the damage on him early on in yeah. the fight. So I, that, that could go to him. But, but Quay Hagen dominated the second and yeah. the third as well. Yeah. So, yeah. The third, I have to say, he came back also, Gustavo, yeah. a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I think Quay Hagen set the, the trade in motion to the victory. It is Joshua Quayhagen Quay winning by decision. No surprise there over a very game. Tired but hanging in till the end. Dionisio Gustavo. And it's great, you know. Quayhagen now four fights, three wins. He uh, he's on track now. And the first time also, the first time he fought, but he said, I should have taken the fight at the short notice. You know, not anything, I cannot use it as an excuse because otherwise he should have fought. But he says still, you know, yeah. I'm happy that he's back on the winning track now.